Russia's helicopter problem is growing. New developments on the Crimean bridge. Hello, the pioneer viewers. Today, we are going to discuss a very remarkable and important issue related to supply lines. As you know, supply lines have been on the agenda many times since the Russian-Ukrainian war started. Supply lines have also played a very important role in the successes of the Ukrainian army so far. Ukrainian troops carried out critical attacks on the supply lines of the Russian army, causing Russian soldiers serving on the front line to be in a difficult situation. In this way, Ukrainian troops had the opportunity to advance on the front line. In recent days, the Ukrainian army's attacks on the Kretsch Bridge, which connects the Crimean Peninsula to the Russian mainland, have come to the agenda again. As you know, this bridge is of great importance for the survival of the Russian troops in the Crimean Peninsula. But the bridge has now become a major security threat. Since the beginning of the war, the bridge has been damaged many times, either by missiles or by sabotage groups. What are the latest developments regarding this bridge, which has become a major security threat for Russia? Let's take a look at the developments together. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss the daily reports of the Pioneer team. The Ukrainian army said the previous day that it had launched a night attacks on two of the Moscow's military airfields in the Russian-occupied regions of Ukraine and destroyed nine helicopters. According to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, the strike on the Russian targets in the eastern and southern Ukraine using longer-range ballistic missiles fired from the U.S. United Army tactical missile systems dealt a heavy blow to Moscow's air asset. According to the military experts, Russia had 899 helicopters at the start of the war. According to the latest figures from the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Russia has lost 323 helicopters since the war started. More than one-fifth of Russia's known losses of the manned aircraft since Moscow's launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine are not due to enemy action. Between February 20 2022 and the August 17, 2023, one-fifth of Russia's confirmed manned aircraft losses, which includes jets, helicopters, and transport aircraft, are due to system failures, pilot errors, friendly fire, or other incidents not directly related to the war against Ukraine. Russia's mounting helicopter losses are significantly hampering the logistics of the military units. Ground logistics are already being hampered by the Ukrainian reconnaissance and observation. Therefore, Russian troops need to use helicopters for resupply and logistics. Having lost almost half of its helicopters, the Russian army is healing towards desperation. The replacement of helicopters is quite costly. It is very difficult to produce new helicopters under the conditions of the war economy, especially due to the limited availability of the raw materials. The Russian government, which cannot get the support it wants from its allies, is trying to think of alternatives. However, the operational capacity of the air forces of the Russian army has decreased considerably. The new weapons technologies deployed by the Ukrainian army also make Russian troops uneasy. With the ATACM's weapons operating on the front line, Russian troops are withdrawing important air vehicles from the front lines. According to local sources, the Russian army is trying to disband its aviation assets and move them to the safe airfields. While the Russian military continues to be concerned about its air force, the danger is growing on Crimea. The Crimean bridge, one of the most important points of the Russian logistic, has been one of the most dangerous since the beginning of the war. Military experts report that the Kretsch Strait Bridge, which connects the Russian mainland to Crimea, has become a major security burden for Moscow. The bridge is an important supply route for the Russian forces and Moscow's only land link for the Crimea, the Black Sea Peninsula annexed by the President of Vladimir Putin in 2014. Ukraine launched a major attack on the 19-kilometer road and a rail bridge in October 2022 and again in July. The bridge, a four-lane highway for vehicles and a railway bridge with the two tracks, is crucial for Moscow to continue its military offensive in southern Ukraine. Regarding the previous attacks, Russian official Marat Khaslinin said in July that the damage had been repaired ahead of his schedule. But despite this, use of the bridge continues to be limited. Russian officials say trucks and fuel tankers are still being transported by ferry. This shows that for the Russians, the Crimean bridge is still a danger. While the bridge will remain a vital link in maintaining Russia's occupation of Crimea and its forces in the southern Ukraine, military experts say it, it is now a major 
liability for Russia. It is considered a significant security burden that requires multi-domain protection, including the use of air defense systems and the crews to be deployed elsewhere to protect the bridge. Retired Lieutenant General Ben Hodges, former commander of the United States Army Europe, said in a statement that the targeting of the bridge was part of the Kiev's multi-domain counteroffensive to retake the occupied territories, including Crimea. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has vowed to reverse Russia's annexation of Crimea. Stating that the Crimean Peninsula will be liberated from Russian occupation, Zelensky said that the struggle for this will continue. Counteroffensive operations require much more care than crossing minefields and trenches. This is why the Ukrainian army's strategic offensives are actually of great importance. The network that feeds the Russian troops must be completely destroyed and left alone on the front line. Leaving the Crimea undefended means that Ukraine can easily seize it. For this reason, it does not seem possible for Ukraine to end the war without taking Crimea. In a news article we shared with you recently, we reported on the situation of Russian troops in Crimea. Russian troops in Crimea are waiting very uneasily. A possible Ukrainian attack has everyone worried. Intercepted phone conversations showed a Russian soldier was afraid of Ukrainian attack on Crimea. In a case of Ukrainian attack on the Crimean Peninsula in the coming days, major developments are expected to take place. The Ukrainian army wants to strengthen its gains and advances to its next target. The Russian army, on the other hand, does not want to step back from the defensive positions. However, they have no choice but to retreat in the face of the strong attacks of the Ukrainian army. In these days of intense global politics, the Ukrainian authorities seem determined to continue the struggle. Measures are being taken to prevent Russia from using conflicts in different parts of the world to create a space for itself. A Ukrainian official interprets Russia's efforts at legitimizing the occupation of Ukraine. According to local sources, the Ukrainian army is on high alert and preparing for a new offensive. Do you think Russia's helicopter problem will lead to a major crisis? How do you evaluate the Ukrainian army's counterattacks? Do you think that the bridge must be completely destroyed in order to liberate Crimea from Russian occupation? How do you assess Ukraine's offensive and defensive strategies? Do you think the Ukrainian authorities are following global politics well and protecting their gains? Do you think a new phase in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine is possible in the coming days? We value your opinion. Please share it with us.